Hey everybody, talking about the Powison virus today, and uh, it's June of 2019, and Powison virus has been uh, spreading more rapidly, especially on the east coast of the United States, uh, particularly in northern Virginia in the Washington D.C. area right now in this summer, and we saw it turn deadly for a New Jersey resident, which is my home state, last year. Um, and it's becoming more prevalent in New York State, New England, um, you know, and there's some theories as to why it is spreading. But for those of you that aren't uh, aware of, of this Palestine and virus, which I only became aware of last year uh, when it made some headlines here, which is that it is far more dangerous and deadly than your standard Lyme disease. Right, Lyme disease doesn't actually kill anybody, but can make your life pretty miserable, but you'll at least survive. Whereas with Powison, it can it can kill you. And uh, and the other scary thing is that it can do it in within 15 minutes of, of being on your body, or really within 15 minutes of the tick bite. Uh, so it, it acts, whereas regular Lyme disease takes you, it has, tick has to be on your body for roughly a day. Um, so... It's kind of a, a double punch in terms of both it being deadly and it spreading much more quickly once it's on your body. Um, there have been about 60 or 70 cases of this virus in the last decade um, with a slight increase as you go through that decade. So they are gradually picking up, uh, but there's some speculation that they're going to get a lot worse in the coming decade. Um, and that is because uh, this virus acts the same way Lyme disease does in the sense that it sort of goes through its egg and larvae and nymph stage on its way to becoming an adult tick. And it's, you know, it has its host animals during that time. And in the early stages of life, it, uh, you know, its host animal is going to be small rodents and mammals and things of that nature. Um, and so what their researchers are finding here in the summer of 2019 is that these ticks are, um, you know, they're transferring in their early stages in the, in the, in the nymph stage and the larvae stage that, you know, small rodents and mammals, uh, there's a huge increase in the, you know, the population of small rodents and small mammals that are, that are getting infected with it. So. You could say it's baked into the cake a little bit that, you know, maybe it hasn't gotten as bad for humans yet, but it's it's working its way there. You know, if you see the population exploding um, in small mammals and rodents, it's going to eventually work its way up the chain to humans. So it's, uh, it's pretty crazy, you know, because you can't see these things for the most part. And it can, you know, it's not like a lion or a snake or a bear or, oh my you know you can, you can kind of freak out and you see it coming it's just this tiny microscopic thing that's everywhere you know and if you have do any type of outdoor activities it's just uh kind of always going to be in the back of your mind so um you know definitely as always you know keep your clothes tucked in and wear bug repellent and try to just avoid grass areas or if you are an outdoorsman you know, I am starting to shift my outdoor activity more towards the winter just because, you know, I've already had Lyme disease. And so where I do have Lyme disease and, you know, you just want to minimize exposure as much as you can. So, uh, you know, be safe and keep tabs on how this thing progresses because it's uh, it's only going to get worse. So we kind of have to see how we have to adapt to it. But, um, yeah, little critters, man. Who would ever thought they would be the ones bringing us down? But <laughs> yes, that's uh, that's the scoop there, and uh, spread the word and tell everyone to be safe.